This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. I go on the people, hope everybody is okay, hope everybody is alright. So just a little update on that new story that I read read on Saturday. Yes, on Saturday about the shooting of go on a man in Manchester, this is the jerk center, with the father and the son. So the wife come and the wife attack and the wife and I could know, say, what you know? Them take all them gun and I'm gun him with a fight back for and him lose him life. And him father alive still, but the kids them not take it well. So anybody who know anybody who can reach out to that family and offer a word of prayer or offer a word of support. Me are gonna just give them some support at this time because trying time because everybody don't have money know say jerky them was good people, you understand? I never know chicken, nobody a fight over, they never shall change them. Chicken on nobody where people are come come say. Just that the man them know say have a license machine and the man them come feet. So people who have them machine and them thing that to just I mean, no bag of people know because the same people them we make no way are protect. And them are gonna send man for your machine. You understand? So just give the family a word of prayer, a word of support. Give the mother to and the father look of strength because of them only child that and him drop out. Who knows so how to keep on updating and inform at all the time. You understand, people? Just a very sad situation, a very unfortunate situation. Because the good community lose a good person. Some children lose a good father. A wife lose a husband. A mother lose a son again. And the thing go on. But anyway, we'll continue the news. Construction worker Ryan Parker. Yes, Ryan Parker, 31, has been freed of charge of illegal possession of firearm and robbery aggravation. Hold on then. Hold on. Stick a minute. Stick a pin. Hold heap a pin. Me feel the justice system are fail you know, because there is no way. All if evident evident is weak. Is unless we not let them out because we don't want them getting the free food for the people that are road with them things. But some of them money not for their road. But anyway, we continue the story. Parker was freed by the Manchester Parish Court last week, Friday, after the Crown offers no evidence. His attorney, Mr. Meekland, argued that there was no proper identification in the case. He argued that Parker was not placed on an identification parade and cited the authority to show that the trial could not proceed as the Crown case was weak. Parish Judge John Time upheld the submission and freed Parker after the prosecution offered no evidence in the case. Parker was accused of being one of the three armed men who robbed two women on July 5th, 2019 in Mandeville. On July 12th, 2019, Parker was taken into the Mandeville police station by one of the complainants and her friends. So hold on then. Oh, she and her friend, they just carry Parker, so. And Parker just go willingly. Eh? Why they go willingly? We, we, we need to know that. People, I really don't understand because when the other day, a whole heap of case, me see. The criminal, them about, see. The big gang, they, they, that, that gang, they, you know who me attack. Them boss off the case and two of the man, them free. And people would have helped them free. But me, me, really, me really don't understand what I go on. Me one who wa go on the is it the system I feel we or is it that the system has been lying to us from day one and just a lock up some people without proper evidence? Hmm? That is where more know. Only somebody needs to tell me. Somebody need to tell me. Me I be honest. So no no need for come come say my view. Me feel like this a go on. Twenty one year old. The man the British otherwise called plumber a carpenter of Piggy Barry District, Green Jail, Westmoreland, was charged with unlawful possession of property on Monday, September 21st. Report from the Savlamar Police Station that at about 9.30 p.m. Well, at 9.30 hour, police can go up and them time, if them if them the on duty. I don't have to police if they're on duty, I don't have to go down and go on like say, yo, them above the lab. Them police are the pan duty. A joint police slash military operation was conducted in the era during which Brissett Home was searched. A black motorcycle without a registration plate affixed was seen inside his yard. According to the police, the chassis and the engine number was also tampered with. Upon inspection of the document, information on the paper <laughs> from that of the motorcycle, Brissett could not give an account as to how he came in possession of the motorcycle. He was subsequently arrested and charged. 
charge. His court date is not yet been finalized. In investigation continue. So you see, this is a bike thief, people. This is a bike thief, Pumba. Yes, the bike thief boy from out of Westmoreland. Yeah, man, a long time them boy they are thief bike and I sell it in other parish. You understand? And the police them want them. So now the police them catch him. Go see what I go on. You understand? We don't want to see what I go on. People, when I see that story, I laugh till my week because. Me know who you know say, other than some of the police them you know say love the street. Once you go to the police station, the police them are always asleep. Yeah man. Most time as they touch certain hours the police them asleep. So I say me laugh for who do this one here. Me the have to go no this one here, people. Me, me I be honest with you. If, you know, if I never tell you no, you know, that's how I keep news from you. Know. The police in Portland has expressed concern over the series of breakings that has been taking place in various business establishments throughout the parish. Commanding officer of Portland Division Superintendent Wellington stated that while the lawmen are doing all they can, they are in need of better equipment to clamp down on the illegal activity of criminal we are seeing an increase in breaking through the division more so port antonio people remember one time now i not never go on down port antonio portland them side as they pass st mary because st mary the hardest but they pass through st mary and go through not never yellow go on them side there. but now everything up. we have had eight breaking now the last one was at long Bay service station so the police them said it's kind of difficult because some of the business place them now have the camera and the one them who have the camera people the one of the camera is not an high definition camera, so them can pinpoint the perpetrators, them, them don't understand, and them don't know who. And some of them who have it, now nah, say, all right, I'm going to sign on to the Jamaica I think so. You know, we can know and see who. So the people, them not know who, who people, the people, them don't know who, who, and the people, them not going to find out who. According to report, just this week, a cash pot shop was broken into by thugs who allegedly removed circuit board and motherboard from the gaming machine. Additionally, a supermarket was also broken into, and a safe containing some Substantive amount of cash was removed. So why the money never did? Why the money never gone to the bank? It cannot be that at 8 o'clock or 9 p.m. the police either retire to the station or they simply just head home. We have never experienced this kind of break-in before. While me understand and me don't understand when it touch night, people, the police them are always asleep. So business place down them side they'll get robbed because you them never normally used to it. I know it happen. Police them got them bed from 6 o'clock, people. May I tell you the truth? Anybody know the rural area them and the rural police station them? Either them got them bed early or them are telling us one service week will have and it gone out of town. That's the normal story. So, them look at business place there. You don't have to invest in a camera and have to invest in some armed guards. You hear the word, the key word, armed guards. Guards, more than one, not just one. Not just one, just how come they come, come sleep? Because enough of them time, they, when they get some security or some mall, they just come, come sleep on the business base and eat out on the food at night time. And that is it, collect them money. They don't business about nothing more. So get some arm guard, yeah, man. Some money the arm, so when some man come for rob, them know, say, watch your man, tell them, tell them family, say, go and dig this hole, like I'm not sure, me I come back. Anyway, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Check us out, all right?